quick announcement at the end of the video. Make sure to watch till the end. All right, so today what we're going to be working on is something a little bit different. I'm going to be creating some wild crops that uh, basically apply or basically spawn in the Perif biome. I started working on just a random texture. I didn't know exactly what I was going to be adding at the first part, but uh, as I progressed, I kind of got an idea of how I was going to actually uh, make this thing uh, do it do an animation and everything like that so I started working on the texture mainly and I was zooming in and out just to kind of test test to see how things looked and I was playing around with the rotation a little bit and I didn't really know what I was doing for the animation at the very beginning but as I developed uh, different strategies and stuff for playing around with the pixels I kind of got an idea of the different uh, things that I was going to work on and I decided to add a little bit of orange at the bottom here uh, from our palette and the reason why I'm doing that is because I wanted to add carrots so wild carrots that can be found in the pair of uh, biome that is the forest because there's not that many plants and stuff in that particular biome and I wanted to decorate it a little bit more uh, so it's not just so bare and there's more reason to actually go for the um, to the biome and stuff like that so I also needed a texture for the uh, the actual carrot item itself so I started working on that this is actually based on the um, part of the carrot itself from the block so I just basically created the texture from scratch and um, basically made it based on the uh, part that it came from from the block itself so just a fun little experiment I wanted to try out and I added some shading uh, or lighting on the um, part there just to kind of give it a little bit more depth and I was pretty happy with how it looked so I saved that. Uh, back to the block itself I wanted to actually go ahead and try a different method um, basically rotating the pixels and but uh, yeah basically what I've uh, started doing is basically using the uh, rotation feature in paint.net and I've used uh, the rotation when you're actually using the selection and stuff to nearest neighbor and I made sure that the pixels don't blur and that's basically how I can get the rotation for the angle and stuff like that a little bit more accurate for what it would look like if the parts were actually rotating and stuff like that so uh, just a little technique that I picked up along the way as you know my m multiple year years working with paint.net and stuff like that so I've actually started using paint.net way back um, when Minecraft was still in beta I think so when texture packs were just came out and since then I've been just I just stuck with the program it's the easiest to actually work with for me but okay after importing the textures and stuff uh, what I could do is I needed to create a plant and then I could select our plant block and that's going to be our texture for it. We'll come back to some of these settings in a bit. I wanted to add a drop, but I'm probably going to use a loot table instead for that. And we're going to go ahead and just make sure that all these other uh, things are set. So I'm going to actually set this to the sound of crops when you break crops. I'm going to enable this. Actually, I'm not going to enable that. We'll probably add our own mechanics later on in the future, so uh, through procedure script and stuff like that. So all this stuff, um, we're probably going to leave it on or set it to plants or something like that, so foliage. And I'm going to set out both of the uh, variables here for uh, fire flammability to zero and fire spreading to zero. Um, the other parts I think are pretty much good for generation. I'm not going to really worry about what to assign it to per se. Like for the blocks, we might probably want to make sure that it can only grow on dirt and um, what do you call it, grass uh, when it actually generates. But other than that, I think everything else is pretty good for uh, the location. And for the procedure, um, I was going to just leave it as it is but I wanted to experiment with um, basically allowing the block to spread naturally so what I was going to do was uh, create a update tick and um, basically allow it to do that <clears throat> I had to go back and configure some of the uh, existing properties though uh, for that I needed to make sure that the uh, block that 
can actually tick constantly. So we're going to uh, check this box right here. I was just reading the note on the uh, thing here, just seeing what it was said. Uh, so I knew if this is what I needed or not. And I ended up checking this box just so we can use the uh, tick update over on the side. And we're going to go ahead and create a long procedure for basically spreading mechanics. It can spread um, towards the, uh, what do you call it, the northeast, south, and west directions. And it can also use those same directions in either up or down. So I first wanted to test if the block position is a valid position for our block itself. And then I wanted to test if the spot at that location is air. And that will allow us to know if the block can actually spread to that block. And if not, then it's just gonna carry on to the next um, uh, particular procedure uh, in the list of uh, things here. So I'm gonna create a couple variables because there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm not going to really need to repeat. So things like the air block, I'm just going to set as the default error. And we don't really need anything fancy for that, like a tag or anything. And then for the other one, we're going to set this right now to just a plant. We're going to come back and actually update that to our, um, our block itself. So we're going to use the same block or plant that we're using. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a full list of these different conditions and we're going to test in order of what direction it's going to try spreading to. And then it's going to try a different level and then it's going to um, try placing the block. So we're going to replace the block here and then what I'm going to need to do is grab the math block for adding uh, manipulating the coordinates. And I'm going to need a number there too. And I'm going to grab some of these and I'm going to replace these right here. So we're going to do negative X first. So that is West. And then we're going to do positive, which should be the, uh, what do you call it? The um, North or I think it's like I stuck to the East or West, East or Southwest or something like that. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the negative coordinates go first. And then I need to update these four with the ones on the lower position of the block. So I needed to go ahead and um, add another uh, part here. So this basically will have a y-axis that is uh, in the negatives. And then what we can do is we can update all these conditions with a negative one. So we're testing if it's the block below uh, the current position. So it can kind of spread downwards at this per particular angle as well. And we're gonna do the same for the up direction. We're just gonna invert those uh, particular Y values to positive Y. And that will allow us to check for the other position for there. So I'm just gonna duplicate this and then I can just drag the parts over that we used and the negative one and then we can basically go ahead and delete that old one and just update the position for the blocks themselves for the y blocks so we're just changing these to a positive and that will allow us to make sure that everything grows seamlessly now i was going to go ahead and wrap this into a random uh, procedure block and I did do this initially but I have removed it because I think it's actually random to begin with so I don't really need to do that uh, so I don't need the um, server side one or the random timer block variable and block that I had set up because that was actually delaying it too long I think so what I ended up doing was just removing this, the part after I created the finished up the, the part that we first worked on and everything with the, the, the random part uh, to the um, top there, I basically just removed and uh, it doesn't include that anymore. So that's that particular procedure. I needed to play around with the spawning mechanics a little bit more. I didn't know what I was gonna use. And uh, the first attempt, I actually didn't get the tag right for the um, biome. So I ended up coming back in here and uh, just selecting in from the list. It took a little while to search for it, but um, I was able to uh, locate it, the proper tag and set that up. So uh, it was actually mod um, colon and then tails of biomes or, or pardon me, uh, Eldermore Purif or something like that. So uh, we were able to do that. 
Uh, the other thing that I needed to do was I was just playing around with the spawn generation settings, just making sure that was all set up properly. And uh, the other thing that I needed to do was come back in here and make sure that the block uh, could update the spread our current block. So after I'd done that, uh, what I ended up doing was I went and created the item, which we're going to need for the loot table in a moment. So I'm going to create the texture for the carrot. Well, we already created the texture. We're going to add it to the, the thing. We're going to set it to a creative tab. And I don't think I actually set the plant to the creative tab, so I'll have to go back and do that probably in the next update for mCreator uh, lore. So um, I'm already ready for publishing, so it'll probably be in the next update where it uh, gets added or something like that, unless I have time to today to go ahead and put it together. So basically, I just left all the procedures alone. We're just going to enable food and make sure that it was basically going to be able to be eaten. It uh, gives a little bit of hunger. I think it's like three hunger bars or something like that. So it's not too much, but uh, I plan to make use of actually other recipes and stuff like that in the future for maybe soups and stuff like that. So things that can actually give you more uh, saturation. So uh, the other thing that I need to do is set up the loot table. And this is basically the loot table. I was having some issues with uh, getting this running. I wasn't sure what was going on. I think I might have copied the um, path a little bit wrong or something like that. So I ended up uh, just creating a new one and um, double checking the position. So I tried copying this again and setting up the loot table one more time. So I deleted that loot table and then I created a new one just to make sure that the um, generation was actually working. Now I might have been in creative mode, which could have been the reason why it wasn't dropping anything. Um, but I can't remember if I was or not, so I'm not sure. So I just created a new one just to make sure. And uh, after I did this second one, I noticed that I was in creative. So I don't know if I was at the time when I was testing it or if I changed back. But um, I just wanted to make sure that I could actually go ahead and um, set up the loot table properly just to make sure. But um, I created the... Um, the carrots uh, to be affected by uh, fortune and the um, seeds or pardon me the plant itself by silk touch so it's one or the other so it's basically like a true or false statement one will run if it is true one will run if it is false so for silk touch and after that I just basically saved everything went in game tested a little bit noticed that it was generating so I was pretty happy with that and looking at the texture, um, pretty happy with how it's waving in the, the wind and stuff like that. It's a unique texture. Um, I might work on the generation a little bit more to make it more of a cluster like we did with the bushes. But um, and another thing that I want to do is add more trees to these biomes. It seems a little bit bare uh, for my liking, but we'll be working on that in the future. Outside of that, I didn't because I didn't have the mechanics for the rotation and stuff, I think the... Um, rotation for the, the script was not spreading so uh, or the randomization so I wasn't able to test that particular today but anyhow if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and now for a quick announcement I have this friend that has their own server hosting company and they have the lowest prices in the server hosting community and they've given me a promo code to give to you guys. So if you want to get a good deal for the first month, then you can use the promo code NORTHWEST for 45% off your first month. The offer expires July 19th, 2034. The link to their site is in the description.